This is a summary of the Day 3 Rates of Photosynthesis in Leaf Dis experiment. This YouTube video is designed to give you a preview of what you will be doing in this lab. For this lab, you will need a paper punch, a 10cc or greater syringe, forceps, spinach leaves that have soaked overnight in cold water, and a baking soda solution consisting of 20 grams of baking soda per liter of water. You also need a source of light, artificial or natural, and a way to hold your syringes upright. To begin this lab, we're going to make 20 discs from a spinach leaf. The darker spinach leaves are better than the lighter colored spinach leaves. So for example, I chose the darker color over the lighter color because the darker will work better. Your instructor should be soaking the spinach leaves in water overnight. This will make the experiment work a lot more effectively. To cut out your paper, your spinach discs, simply what you're going to do is take a paper punch like so and cut out discs each time dropping them onto a piece of paper or a counter or whatever the case may be. You want 10 to 20 of these spinach discs by the time you're done. The more you have the better. If your spinach discs stick to your paper punch simply use a forceps to push them out. Now that I've punched out my 20 paper discs, I have to add them to a 10 millimeter syringe or more. This 10 cc syringe, or in this case a 12 cc syringe, is where we're actually going to be doing the experiment. You can either add the discs one at a time to the inside of your syringe, or if you have them on a piece of paper, you can simply use that piece of paper to funnel them into your syringe. Once I have all of my discs inside my syringe, I'm going to use a forceps to push them down as far to the bottom as they can go. I'm going to add my plunger, push it nearly to the bottom, and then suck up 10 cc's of my baking soda solution. Next I'm going to lift up on the syringe and try to pull as much of the air out of my leaf disc as I can. If your leaf discs are kind of jammed together like mine are, tap them down as much as you can using gentle tapping motions. Putting your finger on the end, you're going to pull up on the syringe and try to suck out as much of the air from the leaf discs as you can. As you're doing this, you may see the air actually being pulled out of the leaf discs. This is necessary to make the leaf discs sink. We have to pull all the air out of the discs themselves. As you're doing this, you can push down to force the carbon dioxide solution into the plant discs. You might see the discs start to fall as you do this. It's going to take a little effort to do this. Just keep alternating between pulling the air out and pushing the solution in in order to eventually make your disc start to fall. The baking soda solution is necessary in order to provide the carbon that the leaf discs will need for their Kelvin cycle in order to produce their sugars. While producing these sugars in the Kelvin cycle, these leaf discs will release oxygen, which is what will make them buoyant. The faster that the leaf discs start to float again, the more active these discs are in the photosynthesis process. Occasionally you may get some leaf discs stuck at the top. Just gently tap them down in order to get them to fall off from the side. Once your leaf discs have fallen to the bottom, push out the solution with the baking soda into a sink. You're going to squirt out most of the way until you have just a couple cc's left. Next, soak up 10 cc's of tap water without baking soda in it. Next add your syringe with your leaf disc to a well lit location. What you are checking to see is how long it takes for at least five of your discs to rise to the top. Some of your discs may be stuck to the side. Either tap them gently to get them down or disregard them from your cones. You're going to time how long it takes for five discs to float from the bottom past the halfway point on your syringe. 
in this case, would be past 5 cc's on the syringe. Once 5 leaf discs have floated above 5 cc's, mark your time. When your experiment is concluded, simply rinse the entire thing down the drain and rinse out your syringes well.